Welcome everyone to Clearview Ice Arena for this homecoming matchup between Pitt Johnstown, Mountain Cats, and the Robert Morris University Colonials. Hi everybody, I'm Caden McCrory. I'm the solo broadcaster tonight with a little bit of a shortened crew. Alongside me to my left, my producer Lance Axton. To the right of me, my cameraman, Mr. Nathan Mauser. And we have a very good show for you guys today here on homecoming weekend here in Moon Township. As the D3 Colonials have their home opener tonight. They've been looking forward to this for a while as we talked to Brian Baker, the captain yesterday on the RMU Club Live podcast. Also streamed every Thursday and can be found back on the Twitch replay and soon to be on our YouTube channel of uh, RMU Campus Rec Sports. But we are about 20 seconds away on the clock. As we're going to a little bit of some camera changes, but I think we'll be good here momentarily. I guess there's only three of us on the broadcast tonight, so a little bit of extra work to go to make sure we can get this going for you guys. This cam should be good to go here, playing chat, as the sirens ready to go, the referees have taken the ice, and here come the Colonials. It's been a long time coming for these Colonials to be back here. Under the leadership of Brian Baker taking the C this year, Brandon Luff, Cameron Macariola, Tyler Weekly representing on the alternate captain side of things. As the teams will get ready for the opening lineups, I'm not sure if we have a John Tushi National Anthem tonight. But we will see that momentarily from PA announcer Mr. Austin McLean. UPJ also making their way to the ice in blue and yellow sweaters. RMU rocking the white. The classic look they usually go for here on home ice. Looking on the cage to the right of me, it looks like Gunnar Fulton, the sophomore attendee, will get the start here tonight out of Murraysville, PA. Had the chance to play with him a couple times back in the high school leagues as a forward, not a goaltender. So good to see him out in Colonial Colors. Backing up will be Nick Arkea, the senior. As UPJ is going to get their starters out onto the ice. As RMU is ready to go, just waiting for the Mountain Cats. A pretty crowd here tonight. Homecoming weekend is a homecoming dance with tonight back on the campus. So to see all these fans here is very good here for the home opener. This is a rivalry that has been going on for many years, as Brian Baker talked about yesterday. And it's definitely one of the marquee matchups going forward for the Colonial season. They play them once more later on at home towards the end of the season, and they go to Pitt Johnstown at one point as well. So the first of three important matchups for the Colonials as their chances this year at winning a CHE D3 title have dramatically increased with the additions of many freshmen and a lot of returners. Evan Jarvis, attendee for UPJ, another person that I played with a couple times as well. And now for the Colonial starting lineup. Under head coach Norm, Norman Riffner, Sean Luff, the assistant coach. Chris Connolly, one of the forwards on the start, wearing number three tonight in white. Brandon Luff, the other starting forward, number four in white, one of the alternate captains. Er Max Ermagatti, 15 in white. Cam Macariola, the alternate captain in 24 in white, one of the juniors. Brian Baker, loud cheering session for him tonight, the captain. And as previously mentioned, Gunnar Fulton, 29 in goal. A huge ovation to the left of me for Gunnar Fulton. The fans have come out as we will send it down to Austin McLean for John Tucci is here. John Tucci will have the national anthem as we see him waiting in the penalty box. So we'll send it down to him in the PA announcer, Austin McLean, for the national anthem. We'll be right back. Everyone over there. 
The beautiful rendition of the beautiful voice of John Tucci, the voice of the Colonials. And a perfect way to kick off this game here tonight on Clearview Ice Arena. As the players get set, referees, little handshakes all around. As Coach Riffner gets his men together here for an important First game in the season against the Mountain Cats of University Pit at Johnstown. Fulton to the right. Evan Jarvis to the left. Both teams getting set here for the opening faceoff. 8.37 in the game time here. As Ermagadi, Luff, and Connolly with a Baker and Macariola on the blue line. It'll be Luff taking the draw. The left-handed shot centerman. Sticks down, pucks down, here we go. UPJ is gonna win this back off the stick of number 23, Will Miller. Sending it in, Macario is gonna settle it down off the Colonial bench. Picked up again by Will Miller, passing along to his defensive partner. Intercepted by Conley, working his way down. Conley shot, saved by Evan Jarvis. Chris Conley, he got his first couple goals the end of last season, he's riding that momentum wave right now. Number three in white, one of the big offensive threats are looking to take a big leap this year. Luff skating into the draw. Has Connie land up behind him, he's gonna win it back to the captain, Baker. Baker shot through traffic, hit off the pad of Jarvis. Battling for it is Luff. Connolly chips it in, Luff batting for it, out to Conley again, the middle of the ice, Conley breaking in, sticks flying everywhere, Baker chips in, can't get it through. Luff still battling for it. Sends it in, gets hit hard along the boards. Picked up by Will Miller of the Bear. Moving in. Off the stick of Aiden Wright. Bounce it off the boards. Fulton's gonna hold that one. And the first save, if you would call it, for Gunnar Fulton in this 22-23 season. Couple line changes for both sides here as Luke Rose, number 22, one of the new freshman faces out of Penn Hills, PA, the right-hand shot center, is gonna win his first face off as a welcome, his, welcome to the Colonial moment for him. Also out there, Justin Newton, the sophomore winger, Andrew Komarowski, along with Noah Long on defense to open things up. Newton, he's gonna carry it forward. 
pass it for Tyler Weekly, the senior. Weekly tried to shovel off his man there, passes through. Noah Long picked up now by Komorowski to play it back in. UPJ is carrying it in. Newton tried to hit there. Intercepted pass on Komorowski. Now the other way comes 47 in blue. Caden Kozowski shot, saved by Fulton. Weekly through the middle, stretch pass to Newton, hits off his foot. Nice play from the de defense of UPJ to settle that puck down. Through the middle of the ice, Ethan Koontz. Nice move around Weekly, shovels it towards the net. Sticked away by Gunnar Fulton. Komorowski plays it back, Noah Long. Skates for this one, heavy pressure from UPJ. Gets hit hard along the boards there. Weekly gets taken down as well. Puck still bouncing around. No one seems to have a real good chance just yet here in the opening minutes of this game between UPJ and Robert Morris. Noah Long through the middle. Picked up now by 17 in white, John Betts. Loses the puck in the middle there and picked up by number 20, Sam Palmer. Another freshman now the other way comes UPJ. It's Colin Cooch as he gets taken down hard by the captain Baker, but an arm is up. And I think it'll be Brian Baker, the captain, with his first penalty here as he laughs about that one, but the Colonials are gonna go to the penalty kill as Baker's arguing with it a little bit as it'll be not sure of the exact call there. But now the Colonials are on the penalty kill, Jackson Vukman. The freshman wins this draw back to Macariola, can't settle it. UPJ is gonna have a chance to set something up. Walking in, leaves it off number five, Logan Fear, plays it low. Over to number nine, Rice. Rice to the point. Zito, down low to Rice. Cross pass shot and scores. Logan Fear on the power play, tic-tac-toe. And UPJ gets on the board first. Off a beautiful pass there between Zito and Fear. I'm sorry, Rice and the first unit get things going for UPJ. As didn't hear the Baker penalty, but I believe it was a rough or something of that nature, but a costly penalty to get things going here in the first two and a half for the Colonials. As will be Betts on the faceoff here, out there with 25 Pollard and 14 Keith Kessler, two of the veteran wingers on their second year. As now a chance the other way, here comes Betts. Walking in on his backhand, can't shovel it forward there. Fear from Rice, the official call on the UPJ goal as Pollard dances his way in behind the net on his backhand. Looking, back to the point. Shot from Komorowski's blocked. Pollard walks in, fires, saved by Jarvis. Rebound shot and scores! John Betts buries home the loose change in front. And the Colonials tie this game up. Less than a minute later from the previous goal, and John Betts with his beautiful feed in front there. Pollard with the shot, bouncing buck, and the Colonials take advantage of a, a very good opportunity in front of Evan Jarvis. And we are now tied at one. So it'll be Vukman now in the draw, seven in white here. Wins this one back. Back to Chase's Sam Palmer. Palmer out there with Brian Baker now. Played up the boards. Bouncing puck, Vukman tried to get through. As there's a breakaway the other way, it's Parker Smith walks in, shot, sails just wide. Pollard gets the primary assist on Betts' goal. That's it for assist on that one. Now UPJ the other way, shot blocked away by Baker. Chipped up the boards again, Smith fighting for it. Also down there is Borscht. Through the middle of the ice, picked up by UPJ, 47, Kazowski. Sends it along, tried to make a hit there, was Palmer. UPJ walking in, loose puck in front, and Fulton's gonna cover that one up. An eventful first four minutes here at Clearview Ice Arena. Started off with a Logan Fear goal from Pitt Johnstown, and then John Betts coming the other way for his first goal of the season to tie this one up. Two young netminders on both sides as Luff can't win this one back. Shot blocked away. That was Noah Long on the block. Macariola hits man there, tries game session, and he puts a nice little reverse there. Macariola playing the body early in this one. It's a little chip play there, knocked away from Luff. A good play to present another opportunity from UPJ as they try to make advantage of a lead. 
It's now Armagadi trying to poke it forward. Puck bounces its way all the way in, and Macario is going to Macariola is going to settle this one down through the middle. Armagadi deflects that one down. No ice, and it will be an icing. A late call from the official, as this will come the whole way down here, back into the Colonial Zone. Can't make any changes as Newton tried to get onto the ice. But with an icing, you can't just do that right away. So they'll look to make a quick line change, it looks like, off this draw here if Luff can win it back. He does, hits off the official, tries to bounce its way out, capped in by UPJ. Luff still trying to bounce it. Armagadi now gets it, and it sends its way down as they can get a couple of changes, including Macariola. Behind the net, UPJ settling it down and trying to break out of their own zone now. Intercepted pass, sent in by Komarowski. RMU touches up, gets a couple more offensive changes. Newton trying to send this one in. Intercepted in the middle of the ice by Weekly. Drop pass to Komarowski, plays catch with his defensive partner. Baker, Weekly, drop pass. Finds Luke Rose on his backhand. Rose circling to the point. Komarowski, shot and scores! Andrew Komarowski! from the middle of the slot. Beautiful pass from Luke Rose for his first point, and it's two to one Colonials. Andrew Komarowski. What a feat it was from the youngster Luke Rose. Komarowski comes through the middle of the slot, snipes it home as Jarvis was out of his crease. Make no mistake, Andrew Komarowski. As that I believe is his first goal, as Baker is giving the puck to Coach Riffner. So if that is his first goal, Komarowski. Congratulations to him as Austin McLean's having a little bit of trouble trying to get this puck out. As uh, Brian Baker is like, hey, that's his first goal. We're going to need that puck, sir. Luke Rose with another important faceoff win. The freshman has looked very good so far here tonight. UPJ has to touch up, poked away by Komarowski. And a surreal feeling for him to get his first of the season and first of his ACHA career. Up the boards, chipped away. That's poked away from Newton. Baker sends it up the boards. That's going to be just past. Will it be an ice? And yes, it will. Weekly also getting a secondary assist for his first point. So it reads Komarowski's first from Rosen, Rosen Weekly. As Kessler, I'm sorry, Rose in on the draw again. Wins it back. UPJ takes possession through the middle, intercepted by Rose again. Rose tried to feed weakly up the board, just couldn't put it up there. Sent back in by UPJ as Baker collects it, shovels it to Macariola, bouncing puck, settled. Good hit there from Justin Newton. Up to Weekly. Weekly trying to dance his way in. Now the other way comes UPJ. Zach Zito leaves it off. Play here. Shot saved by Fulton. Off Logan Fear trying to get his second of the game. Fear and Macariola battling for it. Sent up by Sam Palmer. Puck still bouncing around to the point. Shot blocked. As a little shaken up there is Rose. He takes that one off the skate. Now an outlet pass to Weekly. Weekly walking his way in. Shot sails over the net. Puck still bouncing around. Another opportunity. Shot saved there. Another loose rebound. As Betts looked for his second of the game, that's going to roll its way down and perfectly on to Gunnar Fulton. As now UPJ will get a couple of fresh reinforcements from the Betts. Betts has it now through the middle of the ice. As now Pollard's on the attack here. Pollard battling for it. Puck still bouncing around. No one seems to gain possession of it just quite yet. It's now Pollard walking his way in. Shot saved by Jarvis. Put it right into the numbers. And an easy save for the youngster Evan Jarvis. We're about the 13 minute mark here, but seven minutes in, three goals. Two from RMU and one from Pitt Johnstown. Face off one. Komarowski shot, fanned on it, and now possibly a chance the other way. Picked up by number 47, Kazarowski. Battling for it. Shot through the middle, taken away by Komarowski. He's going to carry it up himself. The freshman defenseman, his confidence is 
beaming right now. It's that almost hit the referee. Happy it didn't, and he's okay. Up the boards, Pitt Johnstown. Trying to get out of their own zone. RMU's looked a lot fresher, it seems like, through the first couple minutes of play. Intercepted pass. Betts and we're 14 there. Kessler, a little bit of miscommunication. Shot there, saved by Fulton. And that was 23, Will Miller, the captain of this UPG squad with a shot. Fulton up to the task. So far, Fulton has looked very well as he seems to be kind of just breaking into season. That first goal came really quick, but it seems like he bounced back from that very well. And so far, nothing has gone against him except for the first goal in the first couple minutes. As a play there, and a little, little awkward play, Sam Palmer. Got taken down. Now the other way. Coming in, Parker Smith. Chips it to himself. Stick lifted. Nice play by UPG's defense. Smith, shot, bouncing. Saved by Jarvis. In front was Borsch. But Jarvis saw the man, took the puck away. It'll be Vukman on the draw. Smith lined up behind him. Vukman to Smith. Shot. Saved again by Jarvis. Rebound in front. Jarvis won't let it happen. Vukman tried to put that one in. Baker lined up behind. Smith sends it in. Battling for it along the wall. Picked up by Borsch in front. Tried to go in front there for Vukman and just couldn't put the stick on puck there. Smith bustled along. Vukman sends it rolling in. Yeah, it's a quick defensive change behind the play in front. That was almost a chance, but no one home. Baker tried to go back. Vukman, good play by Macariola. Vukman tried to go for Smith again. Can't get it through. Macariola taking his time, working his way back. Couple offensive changes and getting getting uh, alternate captain Luff on the ice. Borsch gets the puck knocked away. Macariola again has wisely jumped up on a couple of plays here. This defensive play has been also been pretty locked down. Colin Cooch dangles around Macariola. Coming in as a player gets taken down, 34, Ian Namonaria. Macariola tried to shovel it out, kept alive. And now the other way, Borsch has to get a step here. Tries to poke it three, UPJ's defense locking it down again. Now the other way, Komarowski intercepts that puck. UPJ's offsides and has to touch up, and they just send it back in to regroup. Komarowski tried to go for Connolly. Can't get it through. Komarowski regains the puck. Shovels it behind the net for Macariola. Up the boards again. Past the defenseman. Now Ermagadi got a shot. Got Connolly with him. Ermagadi. Good chance. Just couldn't put it on net as two UPJ defenders draped all over him. In front, tried to go for Luff, can't get it there. Up into the rafters, through one of the poles it seemed like. If that would have hit, that would have whistled a dead puck. Shot saved by Fulton again. Along the wall, Connolly plays it back around, but a UPJ player standing right there. Connolly shovels it out again, goes for Newton, can't pick that puck up. As Luff settling. Throws it back to Noah Long. Long taking his time. Around the boards of Komarowski. Through the middle, intercepted. Newton gets that puck. He's going to try to work his way up. Weekly's now on the ice with him. Newton takes a huge hit there. Taking down his men in front for Weekly, and he can't put it into the empty cage. An A-plus opportunity for 27 and White. Luke Rose tried to go for weekly, can't get his backhand. A good look from Rose there. Picked up by Baker. Sends it in. On the chase is Rose. Looking for an outlet pass, finds one through. It'll be number 60, Nukravaik. Shot, sailed by Fulton. Good hit by Rose there along the defensive wall. Picked up by Baker. Chipped it ahead. Rose battling for it. Gets his hand free, sends it in. Baker gloves it down. Baker playing the body, shakes off his man weakly in to help. 
puck still bouncing around. Rose finds Baker. Shot. Puck bouncing in front. No one seems to be able to get possession of it. Weekly still fighting for it. He's tied up with a man. UPG sends it out and down the other way. Dancing through Macariola. Or I'm sorry, number 20 Palmer. Is now a chance the other way again. It's John Betts. As Betts gets thrown into the boards by Miller. Nothing from the referee. Sent in now by Keith Kessler. As Betts finishes his check, Macariola picks the puck up. Macariola shot, hits off the stick of Betts and sails over the net. Betts looking for his second of the game. As UPJ sends this one the length of the ice, and that'll be an icing. 7.44, here to go in period number one. Two to one the score thus far. Goals from Komarowski, his first of his career, first of the season. And John Betts as well. And then on the opposing side, Logan Fear, number five in blue with his first goal. As that sent the length of the ice once more, and they try to sneak a line change in the sneaky UPJ players, but referee says, oh, wait a quick second, guys. As the same five will stay on the ice as it kills a couple seconds off the clock, but for RMU, an important offensive zone draw here. Possibly get a two-goal lead. Betts can't win that draw. Number 16, Blue, skating it around. Coming through the middle on the chase is Pollard. Has a good stick away there from Komarowski. Kessler on the pressure, leaves it off. Betts, shot, pad saved by Jarvis. Komarowski pinches in, pucks loose out. Pollard pokes it back in along the boards. Komarowski on the chase is Betts. Down there well is Kessler. Kessler walking in. Chip, saved by Jarvis. Army with a plethora of chances here today. Two goals to show for it so far. That's a big hit from Macariola. And there is going to be a penalty on UPJ, I think, as Macariola was looking for the call. As it'll be number 24, Zach Zito, possibly the guilty party. Or... No, no penalty called. Not sure the exact whistle, but Macariola wanted a penalty. But the referee just puts the puck outside for the time being. In front, tried to go for the stick of Rice. Bounces off, but a UPJ. All it takes is one to tie this game up. Along the boards, Parker Smith. Checks off his man and shovels the puck in. Macariola in on the chase. To the point. Sticked away by Long. Bounces his way through, but Vukeman's there. Hits off the boards, and Smith tries to collect it. Buck bouncing around along the blue line. Taken in by Logan Fear. As behind the play, Fear and Long get into it a little bit. Shot opportunity there, save there by Gunnar Fulton. Zach Zito with the opportunity. Zito dancing his way in. Blocked by Vukeman, who lost his stick along the play there. Picked up by Connor Borsch, number two in white, the freshman. Borsch dancing around. Leaves it for Smith. Parker Smith takes a clapper and hits the netting. What a cannon of a shot. But into the netting out of play with 5.40 to go. And I think they're going to mark this possibly at center. And that was just an awkward shot from Parker Smith. I think he just got a little bit too much mustard on that one. The puck's going to be in UPJ zone. I believe a fortunate break here for the Colonials. Maybe they said it hit off a stick is my guess. But the Colonials get a lucky break here. Can't win the face off those Ermagotti shaking off a man as Palmer. Moving in front, can't find the stick of Connolly. Connolly bats it down. Tries to get in front. Irma Gatti tied up with a UPJ defender. Puck still bouncing around. Connolly along the point. Fires one. Bobbled by Jarvis. But no clone who's in front to pick up the change. Knocked down by Palmer. Baker plays it up the luff. Sent along the boards. Irma Gatti's going to go get a quick change. 
picked up by Baker again. As offsides was Connolly by just a hair. Justin Newton didn't see him coming. And the puck will come outside. Five minutes to go here of this home opening action. Homecoming weekend for the Colonials. Won by Luke Rose. Picked up by Long, the defender. Intercepted, walking in, but Long and Rose there to take it away, and I think they're gonna call an offside on the Mountain Cats. As, let's see, referees were a little bit confusing themselves, it seems like, where they wanna put this puck. Rose wants it to that side, and he wins it. Right to Tyler Weekly stick. Weekly walking in, dances through one as he takes down a defender with him and crashes hard into the boards. Seems to be okay as he's got up pretty quick there, but Weekly with another good chance. Here comes Long. Shot sails just wide of the net. Puck still bouncing around. Rose can't settle it. Rose still fighting for it as it pops out and whistled for an offside. Newton just a tad early on that one again. That second line, if you so call them, has been really good so far. Luke Rose, the freshman, very impressive here into that center slot role. As he stays out here with Weekly and Newton. Sent in by the UPJ. Fulton plays it, Macariola. Macariola sends it up the boards. On the chase is Newton. Cross pass tried to go for Weekly, just too far out of his reach there. He's behind the play. Newton got tangled up with the UPJ player. Macariola goes for Newton. Perfect pass there. Hits 23 of UPJ right in the chest. Will Miller, as he shakes that one off, the captain for this Mountain Cat squad. Baker, the other captain for the Colonials. Is that puck intercepted? Colin Cooch down there, number 12 in blue. Komorowski trying to settle it. Up the boards, tries to find Pollard. Can't hit his stick, puck still bouncing around, intercepted, Pollard's gonna walk away with this. Parker, Pollard, Betts, and Kessler walking their way in. Up the boards, can't settling it as Komorowski plays it back to Brian Baker. Off the boards, playing ping pong as you will so far these last couple minutes. Hits off the stick of Kessler, no icing caught as we approach the three minute mark of this game. Pollard. Is that puck chipped in by Logan Fear. Fear puts on the brakes, down low. Puck bouncing around, Komarowski tries to get it away. Zito, shot blocked by Komarowski. Another shot, bouncing through, stick, sails wide of the net. Trying to settle something here. Puck still bouncing off a couple, Colonials in front, knocked away. Sam Palmer, as that's gonna sail into the netting, off the top of the boards and back into play. As we get a stoppage with 2.27 to go here in period number one. Good to see Nick Arkea back. Number 30 on the bench as he's back for his senior season along with Jeremiah Brosovic and freshman Liam McCullough. So four goaltenders for this Colonial squad this season as they did three last season. Or I'm sorry, four last season. With uh, Robert Petrelli graduating. RMU, known for their goaltending. Have Mackey, Rutherford, and the graduated Pellegrino, now Reno Patrick on the Division I squad. And then Brosovic, Arkea, Fulton, the subtraction of Petrelli and adding in McCullough. Goaltending has never looked better for the red, white, and blue Colonials. Logan Fear plays it behind the net, picked up by Macariola. Off the boards, can't hit Borsch's stick. Puck bouncing around, blocked away there by Noah Long. Dancing his way in. Shot, opportunity there. Puck still bouncing around. Kyra Repologue, opportunity shot again. Blocked, poked away. Parker Smith has a chance. Here he comes, Smith 
dancing. Shot sails just wide of the cage again. The second great opportunity for Parker Smith trying to make his name whistled behind the play here from the referee. I believe it'll just be an offsides call. As reinforcements for both sides jump onto the ice. It'll be Brandon Luff on the draw. Shoveled in. Ermagotti gets taken down behind the play. Baker can't get that puck out. UPJ skating around 47 in blue. To the point. Shoveled back in by number 16, Kulachiki. Hits off of the post, it sounded like. And behind the net. Now a minute to go here. Puck still bouncing around. Sticks tied up. As the intensity of this game is wrapped up a little bit, but no one seemed, seemed to find possession just yet here. Puck bounced away. Picked up by number 60 in blue. In front, Luff shovels it in. Possible two on one if he hurries. Luff keeps the line. He has Connolly. Luff settling. Waiting for more players to come on. Pass to Newton. Shot. Sails to the left. And that rebound. Connolly can't put it home. Sent the length of the ice as Komarowski tried to say uh, that's going to be an icing, but the puck took an awkward bounce along the boards. Now coming in. Shot saved by Fulton. Ten seconds to go. Newton trying to hold it along the boards. Intercepted. Seven seconds to go. One more shot here. Batted away by Komarowski. Three seconds now. As now there's a call. And I believe it's going to be either on, I think it's going to be a UPJ penalty. As Connolly was taken down at the half second mark, a cross checking penalty for Aaron Norkovikic. And the Colonials will have half a second of a power play. So pretty much they'll have the full two minutes to work with when the second period starts. But Rose is out here, Weekly, Baker, Komarowski, and Newton. As they're putting five guys up, Weekly's gonna try to win it back, can't do it, not enough time. But a full two minutes on the power play should do wonders possibly for the Colonials. But for this opening game, they've looked solid, they've looked fast, and they have two goals to show for it. Freshman depth has been a huge concern going forward for both the Division One and Division Three teams, and both have exceeded expectations thus far. Luke Rose with his first Your primary first assist. Andrew Komarowski, the sophomore defenseman, with her first career goal. Also a goal from John Betts in his first Division Three action. But on the Pitt Johnstown side, Logan Fear, a name we've called quite a few times, number five in blue, gets a goal on the power play within the first five seconds, it seems like. But that's the score through the first period here. Two to one, Robert Morris, as we'll send it to a quick, about 11 minute intermission and get you ready for period number two right after this quick intermission. We'll be right back.
He tries winning forward to Connolly. Can't get there. The referee takes a tumble. He's slow to get up. Happy to see that he's okay. Baker circling around. Walking his way in, Brian Baker. Try to go for Armagatti. Sent the length of the ice by Will Miller. Gunner Fulton. Picks up to Connolly. Connolly taking his time, trying to skate it forward. Connolly hits it off the wall. Weird bounce in front. Connolly goes for the rebound. Can't get there. Trying to get up is Baker. And couldn't get in there in time as Ermagadi goes for a quick line change. Puck bouncing around down is Fulton. Is going to hold it off for Palmer. As UPJ has a guy sent down there to put that one on net and kill some more of that clock off. Palmer. Can't get the puck out. Puck goes into the Colonial Zone again. And as they retreat with a minute to go on this power play. Betts plays it back. Palmer playing catch with Betts. Betts shoveling it over to the left wall to Connolly. Sent in to go on the chase. Kessler up the boards. Hits off of Palmer trying to keep it in. Kessler plays it all the way back as they try to get something going here with 30 seconds. He goes, Pollard lays the body, and they're going to call that. It'll be Pollard for interference as he tried to block off a man but the UPJ player went flying on the ice as Justin Pollard will get two for interference here as he's not happy with the call. So for 30 seconds, we will have a four on four. Betts can't win that draw shot opportunity saved by Fulton. Komarowski. Takes his time and plays it along the wall. Macariola tying up his man. Betts, back check. Skates it up, intercepted there. Puck still bouncing around. Caught into the chest, and I think they're going to call a hand on UPJ. I think that was Ethan Koontz, the guilty party. That puck's going to come outside for a hand pass. It's Koontz and Miller. Out here, trying to win it forward is Betts. Komarowski, can't ship it out. Goes back behind his cage, out of the box, five on four now. UPJ power play. Koontz trying to battle for that puck, Komarowski. Skate it up here. Puck still bouncing around, Vukman can't get it out. Or I'm sorry, Betts can't get it out. Kessler out there as well. UPJ stays on sides, working their way in number 17 in blue. Walking in, cross ice pass, shot, saved by Fulton, lose, still loose, and then put in. <laughs> Owen Sergliani puts it home for UPJ on the power play again, and is now tied at two. A bouncing puck all around. Fulton just lost his edge there. And Owen Sergliani, or Serglione, my mistake, just puts it home. And within the first two and a half minutes, just like it was in the first period, this game is tied. And that is his first career goal. Congratulations to him as that puck is sent into the bench for head coach Dave Lehman to keep. So another penalty kill, not successful for the Colonials. It's only the first game, it's something to work on moving forward. Noah Long and Komarowski, I'm sorry, Baker playing catch there. Long in front, sticked away by Fulton, almost a miscue there. Picked up by Miller. Puck bouncing around Long, left there for number 13, Wade Daniels. Picked up by Miller, sends it around. Daniels tried to block it. Puck goes the length of the ice. Will it be an icing? No, it will not. Noah Long trying to chip it around, battling for the puck. Back to the point. Settled and blocked away by Daniels. 
Another shot in front, saved by Gunnar Fulton. Sent the length of the ice. Tried to play with a high on the chase is Parker Smith. Smith couldn't get there. Through the middle of the ice, taken up by UPJ. Dancing through, Koontz. Bodied along. Down low to help Azito. Intercepted by the Colonials. Hand pass by Daniels. As Puck's still bouncing around here in the middle of the ice. Zito puts it forward. As Baker shovels off Zito. Plays it behind for Long. Intercepted pass. Dancing through. Taken away. Parker Smith. Aerial pass to Daniels. Sent out off the helmet of Vukman. As he skates to the bench, seems to be okay, but an awkward bounce that was. UPJ carrying it up. Sticked away by Newton. Settling it down, Rose fighting for it. As a hit from Palmer, taken in. Newton tripped up, no call. Picked up by Rose now, dancing his way in. Sticked away and Palmer is back to retrieve. Ariel, too weakly, through the middle to Rose, sticked in, Newton, Rose, shot, saved by Jarvis. Weakly picks it up, bounces it in for Rose to retrieve along the, the wall of Under Armour there. Sent down to Weakly, skating away around the right circle. Back pass into Newton. In front, can't get Weakly stick. Komarowski, in for Newton. Couldn't get Weekly's pass. There's a diving UPJ player. Now a chance the other way for Zach Zito. Out of his crease comes Gunnar Fulton. Palmer sends it out. Weekly chips it ahead. Two on one if he hurries. Man trailing behind him. Weekly tried to go for Newton on the back pass, but changing behind the play was a couple of Colonials. Baker's pass runs wild. Shot. Sales pass Fulton to the point. Picked up by Nathan Pacella. Macariola settling it. Zito picks it up for UPJ in front, no one home. Connolly shovels that one in. Will it be an icing? Yes, it will. So he'll be stuck on the ice here as Ermagotti er, tried to hop on for Tyler Weekly, and that full line change couldn't be completed. Baker and Macariola defensive unit for the Colonials at the moment. So Connolly will take the draw, tries to win it forward, bouncing puck, loses his stick as Connolly. That goes all the way off the center ice. Macariola, Luff in there to help as well. Puck bounces its way out, shot there, sails wide of the glove of Fulton. Poked away by Baker, to the point, sticked away by Connolly. Luff settles it. Connolly up to Baker. Bounce right in. Weekly. Leaves it for Connolly. Connolly coming in. Shot. Saved by Jarvis. Rebound. Weekly has to turn around to get that one. He does. Shovels it towards the net. Hits off a couple bodies. Now picked up by Connolly again. Shot. Rebound by Macariola. Can't get there. As a stick goes flying into the netting and now into the. Wow. What a, what a weird bounce that was. That's a dick. It's now picked up by a, a fan. As they're going to play that one back in. But wow. What an awkward play that was. Macariola just lifted the stick and it just went flying. But now number 21, Anthony Moreno, is going to go to box for UPJ. So it'll be a power play for the Colonials. Not sure of the exact penalty. But the stick went absolutely flat. No denying on that. So we're no, not sure exactly uh, embellishment or whatever it may be. Puck bouncing around, bets. Picks it up. Moreno for holdings. The call bouncing in front and trying to get it through is Pollard. Puck sails up, handed down by Pollard. As Nets played from a hand pass was John Betts. 
and there'll be a whistle. Dead bet Moreno, two for holding. Puck's gonna come outside. There'll be the Pollard, Betts, and Kessler offensive unit with Komarowski and Palmer. Sticked away by Fulton, left off for Palmer. Palmer up to Komarowski. Good stick by the UPJ defenders and back into the Colonial zone. Palmer's going to pick it up again. Finds Kessler, backtracking behind his own crease, circling, gaining speed. Keith Kessler loses control of the puck there. Bounces his way in as he gets hit along the way. Awkwardly down goes the UPJ player. Palmer. Skating it up is Komarowski. Finds Kessler. Trying to go for Komarowski again. Joining into the play is Palmer. Can't stick away. A possible 2 on 0. Picked up by Sebastian Leachy. Leachy. Holding it. Just killing time Komarowski. In there along with Betts to try to dig it out. Betts successful. Continuing skating his way up. Betts through the middle. Tries to find Pollard's stick. Can't quite get there. Circling now is Kessler. Kessler dances his way in. Round one. Goes across Pollard's shot. Saved by Jarvis. Another opportunity. Shot bounced off of Jarvis again. Baker from the point now. Shot blockered or patted away. Betts to the point to Luff. Luff tripped up. Nothing there. Breakaway opportunity the other way. Here comes Logan Fear. Dancing in on the backhand save by Gunnar Fulton. Brandon Luff now the other way. Through the middle. Can't get the stick of Kessler. Another stick goes flying. Changes behind the play as Pollard keeps the puck in low. UPJ looking for a breakout at Zeto. Macariola pokes it off. UPJ not off sides. That was close. Macariola gets taken down. Nothing from the officials. Baker. It's a weekly along the boards. Back it goes to Baker. Pressured by Aiden Rice. Taken away by Pollard. Bounces off the board. Captain alive. Will Miller. Macariola now behind the net to keep it. Pokes up the weekly. To the middle to Pollard. Pollard on his backhand shoveling it in as he goes for a line change. Down on the chase is Luke Rose and Tyler Weekly as now Newton joins them. A stretch pass. Up it goes. Long. Macariola trying to get that off. Opportunity blocked away by Newton. That was Kaden Kazowski with the opportunity. Zito can't settle. Falling to his knees was Noah Long. Down the length of the ice, Weekly had a shot possibly to get it, but it will be called icing. Down back into the Colonial Zone it'll go. As Coach Riffner talking with his team. Trying to get some offensive going. First period was full of offense. Right now it's back and forth hockey. So UPJ has definitely figured out as an injured UPJ player is making his way to the area where they come onto the ice. It's Logan Logan Agnes. Logan, Logan Agnes is uh, hobbling that leg. It looks like we hope all the best for him as he's taken down by the trainers. Will Miller on the help there. Good captain leadership from him and then Owen Surly going as well as they make their way back to the bench. But UPJ might be shorthanded a player for the rest of this game. Now hit along the boards. Taken down was long. Weekly trying to get this puck out. Pressured by Rose. Shot blocked away by Fulton. Played in. Puck still bouncing around the defensive zone. Trying to settle his Rose. Up for Newton. Macario is going to pick it up. He got Weekly to the left. Passes it to him. Weekly. Shot. Scores. Tyler Weekly with a beautiful goal. His first of the season, and the Colonials are back on top. Snipe Selly, Tyler Weekly. Cam Macariola joining the rush. 
Passes it the weekly along the left boards. He just takes a shot from the top of the circle. Jarvis had no shot at that one. And what a goal it was for 27 and White. Stays on the ice is the goal scorer weekly, but UPJ's a shot there, padded away from Fulton. Komarowski is a big hit thrown by Weekly there. Macariola on the primary assist. Only assist for that one is Weekly. Has another chance. Skating his way down. Rose back to Komarowski on the point. Komarowski shot right into the breadbasket of Jarvis, who will cover that one up. Eight minutes and 41 seconds to go here. In period number two, three to two Colonials. Owen Cirillo-Leone with the goal for EPJ in this period and Tyler Weekly on the Colonial side. It'll be the Jackson Vukman unit out here. Wins that one back to Komarowski. Komarowski shot blocked, other way comes UPJ. It's Colin Cooch and a diving play from Komarowski to take it away. Puck bouncing around, picked up by Vukman. Smith. Smith, Vukman down on the pressure. Vukman's gonna get there. On his backhand, shoveling it low to Daniels. Daniels in front to Baker. Baker shot, I can't get through. Vukman was there on the screen. Another shot hits off a stick as Smith got taken down. Smith as a high stick, I believe, will be caught on Parker Smith. As I believe it'll come outside as Coach Luff is looking for an explanation on that one. And the puck will come outside here for a draw as the Vukeman, Smith, and Daniels unit. One back by Vukeman. Puck bouncing along the boards. Played through the middle of the ice. Macariola sends it in. Picked up now by Parker Smith. Fires that one right into the netting where the Hatcher Club is. As we will get another whistle as Coach Riffner is going to change the offensive unit here. I say shout out to the crew beside me here, Nathan Mauser on the camera. Mr. Lenz Axe, my producer, Twitch monitor, and scoreboard man. Shout out to you, my friend. And all of you at home, shout out to you guys for joining us here on this Friday night here at Clearview Arena. Macariola. Puts it in as UPJ looks to settle and get this puck out of the zone with a seven and a half minute mark approaching. Connolly blocked with the stick. Puck still bouncing around. Baker back to retrieve. Through the middle. Tried to go for Luff stick. That'll be no ice as it went through. Heavy on the pressure as Connolly putting on the burners. Luff bouncing puck to Connolly. Shh, possible opportunity here. Puck bouncing around. Into the play comes Baker. Baker putting on his Kale McCarr skills and backhands it in. Puck bouncing through as Baker tried to go for the rebound. Covered up by Jarvis. There's a, the defensive unit now changing for the Colonials and a full sail here for Pitt Johnstown. 7.08 mark to go in period number two. As it'll be the left Connolly and Irma Gatti unit for the Colonials. Luff tried to win it forward. Couldn't. UPJ sends it over the stick of Komarowski. No ice and heavy on the pressure comes Aaron Norkavigas. Norkavigas in front. Shot saved by Fulton. Loose puck taken away. Sam Paul or Andrew Komarowski as another shot through traffic, gloved away by Gunnar Fulton. Irma Gotti almost putting the body on the line there off at balance and tried to go for the block. It was Will Miller on the shot. He's been good offensively, he's been good defensively. And it seems like we know why he's the captain of this hockey club for UPJ. Puck one back. Shot through traffic again. Fulton can get there, puck still loose as taking a little bit of exception was Pollard as he's still going back and forth it looks like. The referee's now stepping in. As it looks like a little bit of an extra jab there on Fulton. Pollard's taking up for his goaltender. 
Puck will stay to the left circle here. To the right of Fulton. Betts can't win that one back. Komorowski tried to go for Pollard along the wall, capped alive. Beautiful shot blocked there by Noah Long getting down to take that one. Pollard fighting for it, the sophomore winger. Standing an astonishing about six foot four, six foot five, looks like six seven on his skates. Monster of a human being out there on the ice, 25 and white. Pollard making his way in. Pollard still dancing in as he gets taken down to the boards in an awkward play there, and that'll be a penalty for UPJ. Will Miller got caught up with Pollard, and he's going to go to the box. So the call's either you know, say something of a roughing or an interference as Miller trying to get an explanation from the referee. As the Colonials will go back to the power play, have been 0 for 2 thus far on the night. As let's see what Coach Riffner decides to do. Looks like it'll be the Newton Weekly Rose line with Luff on the point to the right and Baker playing close in on the left point. It'll be left-handed shot weekly on the draw. Can't win that one back as UPJ tries to send this one out. So Miller's penalty, two minutes for interference, correct on the call there. Baker, shot, sailed wide. Sticked away by Newton, switches spots with Luff. Luff still fighting for it. Newton comes in. Newton to Baker. Shot, patted away by Jarvis, loose puck in front, and he's going to cover that one up. It's much better to see the Colonial Power Plays get a little bit of something going here as they're going to switch the units up 23 seconds into the power play. Back to the Pollard unit with uh, John Betts, Keith Kessler, Andrew Komorowski, and Cam Macariola. Betts wins it back, settled by Macariola. Playing catch with Kessler, Macariola through the middle, through traffic, sails wide. Pollard gets taken down, a little shove from Jarvis there. Komorowski. Still fighting for it. To the point to Macariola, over, shot, and a glove save and a beauty from Jarvis from the point on the shot of Keith Kessler. Evan Jarvis looked pretty good in his first action here for University of Pitt-Johnstown. A minute 16 to go here on the power play for the Colonials. As the, it looks like uh, Betts got kicked out of the faceoff, so now Pollard's going to come in. Referee gives the okay as now Betts goes back to the faceoff and Pollard goes back to the wing. Betts to Kessler. Kessler slicing through the middle. Goes to Komorowski. Komorowski through the middle. Right to UPJ player's stick as it's capped alive off a miscue. And now Pollard's going to go try to retrieve this puck. Lays the body and takes a man down. Macariola into the play. Pollard to the point to Komorowski, can't settle it, try to get back and out of the zone it goes. Komorowski gets taken down awkwardly. Colonials want a penalty and they're gonna get one. As another penalty, as Komorowski is hunched over and we hope he's okay. One of the most sound defensemen we have on the Colonial roster and uh, he's slowly making his way to the bench. That's not a good sign. As he's gonna get a little help off from, from Baker. And let's see who the guilty party will be. It looks like it'll be Colin Cooch. But also, Keith Kessler's in the box. Okay, so we have a, so it looks like four on three is the, no, I see five Colonials. And it looks like it'll stay five on four. It looks like it'll be matching minors for Kessler and Cooch. So five on four, it'll stay. We'll wait for the official calls from the PA announcer about Cooch and uh, Paul and uh, Pollard's penalties. Smith plays up to Vukman. Shoveled in on the chase is Wade Daniels. To the point, Palmer shot sails one. Smith shot opportunity there, bouncing puck rebound and a great save by Evan Jarvis. Diving across and robs Jackson Vukman. So Cooch two for tripping and Kessler two.
for interference as the matching minors. But what a save by Evan Jarvis. As the fans getting into it a little bit here, a little rough crowd as we all used to seeing between UPJ and RMU. Played in by Palmer. As five seconds till we're back to five on five hockey. Chance here, shot, rebound. Still loose. S Smith collects it now. Tried to glove down by Daniel. Baker watching the bench wisely. Puck still bouncing, save, rebound, and scores! Parker Smith with the baseball bad goal. He promised me a goal in the intermission and it looks like he's following through. Parker Smith, welcome to the island, my friend. Four to two Colonials. What a deflection in front. Jarvis tried to catch that puck and Parker Smith said, excuse me, sir. Batted that one in. It's party on Fifth Ave, the goal here. And he told me he's not much of a celebration. Uh, I beg to differ, Mr. Parker Smith. That was a heck of a celebration there. As four to two Colonials, Luff moving it forward. Connolly on the chase. Going through, Ermagatti on the chase. Zito can't collect that puck, puts it in. Wade Daniels, his first point as a Colonial as well. Primary assist, and Sam Palmer's first assist as well. So first, all along on that goal, across the board, Smith assisted by Daniels and Palmer. As taken down behind the play, it looks like was Noah Long as parents fighting for a call here. Long still fighting for the puck. Luff in there as well, Imrigati coming out with it. As trying to get a puck on it was Connolly. Length of the ice, this shouldn't be an icing and it will not be an icing. Good call from the referee there. Luff trying to fight for it, Connolly in as well. Now the other way comes UPJ. Shot saved by Fulton. Long fighting for it, his stick goes for Aaron, as that's gonna make its way through the middle of the ice and into the UPJ zone. Sent the length of the ice now, Zito. Trying to hit there is Connolly, picked up by Luke Rose. Rose along the right side, working his way in, cuts in, gets taken down hard into the boards, and he's slow to get up. Sent down, Rose wasn't ready for the pass, and he's gonna take his way out, oh, it looks, it doesn't look good, Luke Rose quickly getting a change. Hope all the best for him, shot there. Puck still bouncing around, and still blocked there from UPJ. As the puck still bouncing around wildly, as Rose is getting checked out. As stood up there was John Betts on his man. Now coming in is Logan Rice. Cross pass taken away by the stick of Brian Baker. Up comes Weekly, two on one. Weekly with Smith. Weekly holds. Wait, shot and scores. Tyler Weekly with the patience, with the snipe over the block or the glove side, right under the bar. Kiss it good night. Tyler Weekly, his second of the game, and it's a five to two lead for the Colonials. He faked the pass over to Smith. Wait, wait, wait. Do your dance. Put your shot on and Weekly. Making his name well known here in this game. Two goals for Tyler Weekly. Macariola now picks up a minute 45 to go. The Colonials are absolutely buzzing now. Macariola. Puck still bouncing around. Chance in for UPJ in front. Tied up there with Sam Palmer with a good play. Betts with the primary assist. His second point of the game. Pollard, shot. Sails over the net of Evan Jarvis. Bet still fighting for the puck. Macariola settling it down. Palmer, as the Colonials get on side, he shovels it onto the net, covered by Jarvis, and he's going to wisely hold that puck. So weakly assisted by Betts, the most recent goal for the Colonials. Betts is, I'm sorry, weakly second goal of the game. One question I always ask on the podcast is, are you going to shoot or pass on the two-on-one? And I think I figured out the answer from Tyler Weekly, as he played that to perfection on that play. 
along the line. UPJ carrying it in, diving effort there as Fulton is trying to clear his crease. UPJ from looking for a penalty as Fulton was just trying to clear the men out and Fulton carries that puck and saves it as Palmer gets back to his feet after being tied up in front. 53 seconds to go in period number two. A very eventful and a very wild period number two to say so myself. As the puck will be to the left of Fulton, to the right on here on the camera screen. It'll be Luff on the drop. Shot chance there, sails wide. Picked up by Noah Long. Ermagadi trying to get it out, can't get quite enough on it. Is now taken down behind the play and slow to get up is Luff. Couple late checks, refs letting him play on. As now whistle dead for I believe a hand pass from Connolly. And it should be in the UPJ zone. Pot? No, well. Not sure exactly. Might have been a hand pass on UPJ for that matter. As this puck will go into the Colonial. Yes, it'll be a hand pass on UPJ and into the Colonial zone will come the Luff, Connolly, and Magadi unit. It'll be Luff, the left-handed shot centerman, winning it forward. On the chase, to the point, Baker keeps it alive. Puck bounces its way out, Connolly pulls on the brakes and puts it back in. Ermagadi on the chase, hitting his man. Now Connolly checks his man as well. Through the middle of the ice, Noah Long getting chased down. Plays the puck back into neutral territory. Takes a bounce and towards Jarvis. Final five seconds is Connolly on the chase as well as Luff. As a check there on Parker Smith. And that'll do it for period number two. An eventful period number two. Like I said to say so myself, as a goal from... Um, Owen Cerniglione from UPJ, along with the goal from Logan Fear in the first period. But for RMU, Tyler Weekly's two goals have helped the Clones be on top. Right now, John Betts had a goal as well, his first of the season. Can, uh, Andrew Komarowski, his first goal of his career. And then Parker Smith, the transfer coming in with a nice baseball bat goal to get things going on the Colonial side. And Gunnar Fulton, the net miners, played very well so far in his debut on the 22-23 season. You see him skating off here with Nick Arkea. But that's gonna do it for this two periods. Five to two Colonials will be back with an eventful and wild period number three of Pitt, Johnstown, and Robert Morris right after this quick break. We'll be right back. Period number three from Clearview Ice Arena. Caden McCrory here, five to two Colonials, the score going into this one. Tyler Weekly's two goals leading the way so far, looking for three here in period number three of this home opening matchup against UPJ. Gunnar Fulton, the sophomore goaltender, off to a hot start here. Both teams hit the ice. 20 minutes on the clock here as we await the referee signal to get things going. We tried to get uh, Michaela Bender from the D2 team on here, but she respectfully declined and said that she'll just come on the club hockey podcast later on, it sounds like. Sound like a deal, Michaela? Sound like a deal? You're gonna come on the club hockey podcast eventually then? Yeah, we'll get her on for that at least. So for any of the D2 women's girls that are hoping to come on, you gotta beat out Michaela for it now. It's kind of stuck. It's on live air. As the stick's up and Coach Riffner getting his team ready here. As puck down weekly. Plays it forward, picked up by UPJ. McCoriola backtracking. Tried to go for the stick of Betch trailing or Baker trailing in. Baker promised a goal also on the Club Sports Hockey Podcast that we do every Thursday. 
Hopefully you can fulfill that one, or at least get an assist for that matter. UPJ coming down. Cross pass. Taken away by Macariola. Puck still bouncing around. Newton. <coughs> Macariola. Leakley trying to fight for that. UPJ gets in their own defensive zone. Play it up. Logan Fear checked away by Weekly. Weekly taken along into the boards. Is a big reverse hit from Miller on Rose. Baker has a man draped all over him. Leaves it for Weekly. Trying to shovel it out. Can't get through. Baker with the reverse hit there. As the physicality continues to ramp up between these two rivals. Cross pass to Miller. Taken in by Rice, deflected in so they can get a line change. Baker plays it along. Chip pass. Newton settling it, can't get it through. Chance for UPJ. Zach Zito dangles around one, tried to cross Christ pass there. Taken away by Gunnar Fulton. Chip pass. Can't get it out. Behind the net, hit off the back of the net. Back to himself was that UPJ play number 47 as Fulton is just going to cover this one up. A little under two minutes down here in period number three. Zito taking his way to the bench for UPJ. As the Betts unit is now on Pollard and Keith Kessler. Shot blocked by Komarowski. Another shot bouncing its way around. On on the chase is Betts. Trying to get it to Pollard, he does. Pollard pokes it forward. It's Kessler. Kessler controlling the puck. Moving his way along the boards. Taken away as Koontz picks it up for UPJ. Koontz making his way along the left side boards. Dances his way in around one. Comes towards in that backhand shot. Sails behind the net. Pollard finishes his check. On the chase is Kessler. He gets there. Kessler. Working his way in. Holds off his man onto his backhand, pulling up. Kessler can't fight for it. Stick goes flying, kicked away by a UPJ defender. Now the other way is Koontz. Skating in. Taken away by Long with the stick, battling for it. Long takes down his man. That's going to be a penalty for a trip. Noah Long, the guilty party, or possibly Pollard. Looks like it's going to be Pollard. So Justin Pollard, two minutes for tripping. The call, and UPJ is two for two so far on their power plays. Both have been successful early in both periods. So let's see what the Colonial penalty kill can do here. Jackson Buchman on the drop. Taken away from the stick with speed. Trying to skate that one down with Parker Smith. Smith applying heavy pressure. And that is something we have not seen a lot of as Smith tries to finish his check on Miller. Referee saying, oh, uh, I'm going to let that one go, but next one we're going to call. Bukeman puts it in. A good kill so far to this young group of Smith and Bukeman. Killing off 30 seconds of the two-minute power play. Skating in Zito. Macariola with a beautiful open ice. It takes down Z Zito. Macariola making his presence known in this game. Zito staying high on the blue line. Macariola is there watching right over him. Walking in is Logan Veer. Veer makes his way around the net. Back to the point. Playing catch. Gets it back to himself. Along the point to Miller. Miller's shot hits off of the skate of Smith. Reverse hit, and Vukman sends it the length of the ice. Jarvis is going to stop that one and play it forward. Fresh troops on for the Colonial penalty kill. Up the pass, tried to go for Rice. Baker tried to play it himself along the boards. Rice is going to pick this puck up. Rice, open man shot, saved by Gunnar Fulton. Looks like it was 47, Kazowski coming in on the shot. Fulton up to the challenge. You see Connolly out here with 
Zeiss Miller. The first time we've called his name, Elijah Zeiss Miller, the freshman, wearing number 19 in white. Puck bouncing around. Miller on the chase. Komarowski watching. Shot. Goes just wide. A good read. And that puck's going to make its way all the way down. And that should do it for the UPJ power play. The first kill for the Colonials so far. And it could not come at a better time to prevent this 5-2 to two lead from drowning away. Good save by Fulton as they tried to hit Pollard coming out of the box. And it will be an icing. Pollard got lucky there. I don't think the referee saw him sneaking his way out. Oh, never mind. Yes, he's going to come back on. Yeah, I thought Pollard pulled a sneaky one there. But uh, <laughs> referee said, oh, wait a minute. I think you were on the ice, sir. So he's going to quickly try to get himself to the bench after this draw. Connolly. And draw, let's the referee. And uh, a little bit of confusion. It's now I'm not ex So RMU is going to call a timeout. Um, not 100% sure why the timeout was called this early into the third period, but Coach Riffner probably saw something he didn't like. And he's going to address that with his team now. As a lot of movement, a lot of sticks going. It was a quick timeout. As they clown down one, two, three, Colonials led by Captain Brian Baker. As they they sneakily, they put Ermagadi on the ice. They snuck a man in. The Colonials going to get away with that. Referees didn't see it, though. So a lucky break as they snuck a few players on the ice. So Luff, Connolly, Ermagadi, Macariola, and Baker. Luff wins it back. Baker, perfect little send out taken by Luff with the hand. Right through the defense of UPJ. On the chase, Connolly bodies his man off. Still fighting for it. Connolly also in to help his Armagatti. Puck still bouncing around. Connolly can't get that puck out. Taken up by UPJ. A good little move there. Try to make it around Connolly. Carrying it in is now UPJ. Coons. Shot, takes a couple of redeflections, and now RMU has possession. Luff, up the boards to Connolly on the chase. Baker into the zone. UPJ has an attempted hit by Connolly. Had a full head of steam going into that one. Newton gets leveled in the middle of the ice as he played that puck in. Puck still bouncing around along the blue line. Picked up and then taken right back by Noah Long as he gets taken down. Shot by Coons in front. Tried to go in front there and couldn't hit the redeflection stick at number 47 in blue. Weekly gets hit hard into the boards. And that's going to be a penalty. As Weekly celebrates that call, as he said that was a little bit of a little bit of a dangerous hit, and the referee agrees. Aaron Norkovic is in the box again. And the Colonials are going to the power play. UPJ's coach is not happy with that call. As it'll be weekly Rose and Newton with Baker and Luff. UPJ fans not happy with that. Looks like weekly will be the one to take the draw as the ref is over by the UPJ bench as they get two more players onto the ice. Only had two out there. That's a bold strategy if they decided to only put two people on the penalty kill. Weekly. Back to Baker. Baker. Low to Rose. Settled by Baker again. Norkovikix. Two for boarding is the call as Baker gets hit. Rose. Newton. Shot. Saved by Jarvis. Still loose. Trying to fight for it. Newton's going to keep it alive. Newton. Back to Rose. Plays it over to Luff in the middle of the slot. Down low, Baker plays it. 
to Newton playing catch now. Baker, left circle, shot in front, and a beautiful redeflection. Tyler Weekly caps off the hat trick of his game, the one that drew the penalty and now celebrates with the hat trick. A beautiful shot from Brian Baker. I guess that'll do for saying that you're going to get at least one point tonight, Mr. Baker. But Weekly's hat trick puts the Colonials up 6-2. to two. What a game from Tyler Weekly tonight. He came ready to play. We talk about the shot by Baker. Time, patience, looks for the redeflect of the stick in front. Weekly says, yes, I got you, sir. And the hat trick for him to capitalize his wonderful night and a great start to the season for him. 13 minutes to play, six to two Colonials. As now UPJ is looking for any life to hang, cling on to here. Going forward as that puck's going to be sent the entire length of the ice, and it will be an icing. Kessler was hard on the chase. They possibly had a chance to get that one if he had an extra step. So officially announced, weekly. Weekly celebrating. Justin Newton with an assist. I think Baker shouldn't have gotten an assist on that one too, but he's got an assist in my book. Dancing in is Pollard. Plays it up, tried to go for the stick of Kessler. Couldn't quite hit it. The UPJ defense, Dan, they're uh, passing this one around. Sent in, Fulton out of his net to play. It leaves it off for Noah Long. Long, dancing in. Picked up by Kessler on his backhand. Works his way around, good shovel move. Gets taken into the boards and down to the ice. Long picks it up. Can't miss, miss choose with that puck. Taken away, Zito on the chance there. Another shot, hits off of his own player. Puck still loose in front to the point it goes. Another opportunity, hits another couple of sticks. Still loose, Rice puts it in front, Fulton reaches for it and covers that one up. And the eventful action in front of Gunnar Ford as UPJ is trying their hardest to get something going. Eleven fifty-three to go. As the line changes continue, is a little bit of banter back and forth between the benches. Good to see between UPJ and RMU always. Bukeman gets the line, sends it in, and gets thrown hard into the boards as UPJ's physicality has took another level up. Cross passes Zeiss Miller tried to play that through. Shaken off the hit as. Smith gets bounced around between two UPJ players. Smith in front tried to go for the stick as Zeiss Miller couldn't connect. Picked up. Palmer plays it over to Smith. Left from Acariola, now taken in by Zeiss Miller. Bouncing through the middle to the point played back in by Palmer. Along the line, keeps it alive. Palmer finishes his man down. He tried to get hit. Acariola collects it. Just outside the blue line. Reverse hit. Physicality has been the name of the game on Cam McCariola's book. And that will be a icing against UPJ. The bench not in favor of that one. Six to two. The score still here at Clearview. For myself, Kate McCrory, alongside me, Lance Axton, my producer, and Mr. Nathan Mauser on the camera. Chris Connolly, Brandon Luff, Irma Gotti unit with Baker and Long. Connolly wins it forward, can't get it through. Along the boards. Played out, out of the reach of Baker, and it will be a it will not be an icing. They say that Baker is back there. UPJ gets the change. Baker calling his reinforcements back. Leaves it off for Luff. Backs it off to Connolly. Connolly chips it ahead and into the zone. Fighting for it is Baker still. Baker fighting for it. Takes a man down. No call as UPJ is looking for something. Kept alive by Connolly dancing in, and they're going to say he was offsides. That was a close one. The referee has a better view than we do. 
But Conley had an A-plus chance there. Is Connolly asking, are you sure I was off? Miffa said, yeah, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure of that call. It'll be Luff's face off to take. Wins it forward to Connolly now. Dances around the defender. Drops it off, tried to go for Armagatti. Back to Luff. Armagatti again along the boards. Fans on the pass and gets taken down hard. As now behind the play, he is getting pushed down. Referee no call. Refner's bench is looking for something. Ermagotti is going to skate to the bench, trying to avoid any kind of conflict. Luff with a nice hit there along the wall. Under the 10-minute mark now to go here in period three. Chance for UPJ. Hit by Long. Picked up by Newton. Sends it forward. Connolly, stretch pass for Newton. Takes a weird bounce off the referee and then into the zone. Full sail change for the Colonials. Connolly still stuck on the ice, though. To the point, Macariola shot. Loose in front was Jarvis's rebound, but no Colonials there to pick it up. Another shot staved by the netminder, Jarvis. Keith Kessler on the attempt. Let me draw to the right of Jarvis, left on the screen. The weekly Rose Newton line. Kessler playing a little bit of defense. First time we've seen that in this game. Kessler to Weekly. Has the hot hand so far. Can't settle that one down. Macariola skate kept that one alive for a split second. And Weekly with a big open ice hit. Tyler Weekly, my goodness. And now they're going to call it as a hit from Rose as we await the whistle here. But Weekly, whoo. My goodness, man. He is absolutely feeling it right now. Three goals and a, a massive open ice hit. Rose is going to take this draw. Freshman centerman had a really good game so far as Weekly ramping up his physical aspect. On the chase. Trying to get it was Newton. Weekly is going to pick that up, and here he comes. Weekly dancing his way in. Still has the puck around the net. Weekly. Waiting. Finds Macariola in front. Tried to go for Newton. He's going to collect that pass now. Switching swaps with Macariola and Rose. Rose now fighting for the puck. Rose. Still having it. Bodies his man off the puck and works its way along the boards. Newton finishes his check as well. as the, Like we said, intensity, hitting, seems to be the name of the game right now. Newton. Shovel pass, try to go for Rose. Here's up by UPJ. Miss Q, picked up by Kessler. Kessler walking in. Shot, saved by Jarvis. Loose, weakly tried to go for the rebound. Pulling a little bit of a Gio Palumbo move from anyone that watches the D1 stream. Putting his hands up and says, I, I'm just trying to get the loose puck, guys. I'm not trying to cause any, cause any trouble. As and then the wholesale change for both units. Under the eight minute mark to go. It'll be the Betts unit. Betts can't win that one. That puck sent the length of the ice. Palmer on the chase. Palmer, good move there, but a stick gets tied up. Diving effort there from Brian Baker. Shovel pass along the wall. Pollard pokes it ahead. Has two men with him. Pollard tries to pull up. Intercepted by UPJ. Good stick from, and he gets taken down there is Palmer as he's getting now wrestled along the wall. Trying to go for the stretch pass, batted down. Fighting for it as Pollard goes for Daniels. Daniels up for Betts, can't connect on that pass. Pollard gets the quick line change sent out and it will be mm, icing. A, a little bit of a late call from the referee there. As the PA, a little bit of a miscue there, Austin. Uh, the song stopped and started just like that. Seven minutes exactly to go. And 
It'll be Betts. Wins it. Baker fighting for the puck. Also on the chance here is Parker Smith. Skating his way down. Smith. Picked up by Vukman now on the clearing attempt. Baker, middle of the ice. Shot deflected in front. Smith goes for the rebound. Just couldn't put his stick down. To Baker on the point, tried to backtrack and lost the puck. Zeiss Miller to Long. Komarowski hasn't been out there for a minute. I hope he's okay as he's still on the bench. That's probably the reason of uh, Keith Kessler's addition on the defensive side of things. Long plays it up. Smith. Aerial pass. Smith and then finishes head hard along the Colonial bench. Skating in is long, leaves it for Smith. Intercepted pass. Down goes Plowman. Macariola tried to go for Smith again. Can't reach his stick. Another chance for UPJ. Shot save with the pad. Rebound shot covered up by Gunnar Fulton. A good chance from Anthony Morano. From the right circle, Fulton standing tall. Five forty-five to go. Six to two, RMU. One by Brandon Luff. Noah Long has been playing hefty minutes in this game, along with Macariola. Sent all the way down. No icing call there from the officials. Connolly intercepted pass as he takes a tumble. No call. As long with a nice check there, but they're going to call that for maybe a, a trip or a hook or something. Is in the face as long and the UPJ player. But long's going to go to the box and a wise play from Ermagadi, the veteran, to pull his man away. They're going to take both. Yep, both are going to the box here as Long continues his banner with Colin Cooch. Cooch, not sure what he's so happy about. He, he got a penalty. So it'll be four on four for two minutes. We assume coincidental minors for roughing or something along those lines. As the banter continues. Luff trying up. Opportunity oh, shot. And into the net it goes. Logan Fear, his second of the game. Three seconds into the four on four to make it six to three. So Fear, his second of the game. A good start on his season, if I do say so myself. Six to three. So five seventeen to go. Still only minutes fifty seven to go on the swan floor. Connolly plays it hard in. Luff. Luff plays it in. Rice gets the assist. Now a chance the other way. Good and got the stick of Rice. Fulton carries and holds. A good play from Fulton. His defense caught up a little bit in the play and wisely keeps that one. But a late goal here from UPJ has made things a little bit interesting. Colonials change their four-man unit. Weekly wins it to himself, plays along the boards. Newton hits ahead, and he's hit up high. Cooch likes that one. Fans not so much. As Macariola stands up and takes down his man again. Now the other way it comes, it's Justin Newton. Newton fakes, waits, Macariola coming in. Played back, wisely shoveled in by Palmer. As another hit, Newton leaves it off Macariola, trying to play it back in, couldn't quite get there. Fear has two, he's looking for three for UPJ. Walking in now is Rice. Rice shot right into the logo for Fulton to keep that one in. Both teams just 
keeping the legs fresh every whistle, it seems like now, is the last 417 is going to be a grudge match. We know how deep this rivalry is between these two teams, and neither team wants to give an inch. Played is Kessler. Fired up past the hand of the defender. A wise play from Luke Rose. On the chase, Kessler picks it up. Off the stick, batted in. A nice little move from Betts. Behind the net, UPJ. Setting something up here. Back it goes. Baker reads that perfectly, but also a miscue and a turnover. Kessler fighting for the puck. Ruse in to help as well. To the middle of the slot. Shot and a Glenn Mill glove save for Gunnar Fulton. A flare for the dramatic Mr. Fulton. Stick taps all around. 18 seconds to go on the four on four, 3.39 on the game clock. Rose wins that one back, played up by Palmer along the point. Capped alive, tried to go cross to defensive partner and miscued, chant, up comes Macariola. Opportunity for the defenseman. Macariola pulls up, in front tried to go for the stick of Rose, Palmer, shot, saved by Jarvis. Now the other way. Back has to come Noah Long. Long with a good stick, takes it off. Macariola now, chip pass, batted down by Betts. Three minutes to go. Miller gets the line, sends it in, gloved down by Fulton, and he's just going to keep it. A smart play with the player crashing in from the Mountain Cats, and Fulton... Fulton and Zach Zito, both former Franklin Regional Panthers, a school about 40, 45 minutes away from here. Good friends, those two, as they're getting a little bit of chat in. Zito, a recent graduate. Fulton, in his second year with the Colonial. So definitely have a feel for each other, being uh, teammates for three years. Jukeman. Stretch pass goes for Smith. Can't get through. Through his skates, that one went. Behind the net. Coming in was Kessler. Couldn't quite keep that puck in, but Vukeman's back to help defend. Baker with a good stick. Rebound in front, taken away. Another chance. Vukeman's stick takes that one off. Kessler, pass. Smith shoveled it in, getting the zone. And back out it goes. Baker settles the puck down. Gets through the line. He's going to take it himself. Baker keeps his edge. Bukeman tried to go for Smith. And now a three on one, possibly the other way. Stretch pass couldn't hit Logan Fear, though. Two minutes now to play. Six to three, Colonials. Fear, or I'm sorry, Rice gets hit by Kessler. Along the point, back to Rice it goes. In front, backhand shot wide of the crease. Back to the point. Another opportunity, Spock still bouncing around. Shot and scores. Right underneath the bar. UPJ inching their way back into this one with a minute 39 to go. I believe that might have been Zach Zito. That was Zito. He was getting his little bit of revenge on Fulton. He used to be teammates, and now gets him up on the score sheet. Coach Riffner quickly talking to his team. Not a lot of time to play, but if you're UPJ, you're looking to get something going and get the goalie off. As now the official signal, now he's coming back in, but they tried to pull that one in. Yeah, that was correct, Zach Zito. And then uh, Logan Fear on the primary on that one. Sent the length of the ice, goaltender is out for UPJ. Pollard trying to fight for that puck. Pins his man up against the boards, pucks weeks his way out. Back pass it goes. 
Good play from Bent into the empty net, just wide it went. Bent fighting for it, Pollard. Shot, can't get it white it and pray it in there. One minute now to play. Bodies flying everywhere. Pollard pulling up. Tried to go for the shot, couldn't put it in. 53 seconds now. Pollard still on the chase. UPJ stuck in their own zone. Now two men coming down. It's Koontz, muscled away. Palmer, long or Komarowski, or I'm sorry, long on the ice now. Bodies still flying around and we see what the call is. I think Palmer is going to the box. So a possible six on four as Sam Palmer. Some sort of penalty. We're not sure exactly what the call was. So two for interference. Timeout, UPJ. So, 35.7 seconds. UPJ re-getting their guys together here, but for RMU, pretty much this is a two-man advantage. But the goalie is out. Facing the puck does work, but getting that puck into the net could be crucial. The clock not really in favor of UPJ, but Coach Riffner and Coach Luff just hopefully getting their guys together and say, hey, we gotta lock it down in these last 37 seconds. Another penalty like that, and it's a six on three. As it looks like Baker getting his guys together, out with Macariola, Connolly, and Smith. It'll be Smith's duty to win this draw. Baker to the left of him, Connolly to the right. Played back, Connolly fighting for the puck. UPJ now has to regain the zone, 30 seconds to go. Played along, picked up by Zito. Zito, back to the point, shot through traffic and saved by Fulton. An opportunity from Will Miller, the captain, but Fulton stands tall again. 21.4 seconds to go. Another crucial draw for Parker Smith. Can't win that one. Back to the point. Miller plays it in. Zito pressured hard. Miller shot. Glove down by Fulton. 10.7 to go. If UPJ wants to get a couple of goals here, they got to be quick. Smith to Baker. Holding it wisely along the wall is Brian Baker, the veteran captain. Clock kicks its way down. Opportunity pass there, but the clock is going to hit zeros. And Robert Morris is going to take this one. Six to three. What a game that was. UPJ continues, the, or six to four. UPJ climbing their way back into this game again. Just relentless effort from the Mountain Cats in this one. But for RMU, in this rivalry series, it's good to take that first game. Helps mount the national rankings until divisional play starts later on. But Tyler Weekly, three goals of his own tonight. A heck of a game for him. Goals from Parker Smith. His first as a Colonial. Andrew Komarowski, his first as a Colonial. And John Betts, his first with the team as well. Logan Fear, two goals for UPJ. A heck of an effort from him, number five in blue. But RMU takes the first of three matchups between UPJ and Brian Baker's Colonials, Coach Riffner, Coach Luff. Very happy with their effort from their guys today. Probably want to lock it down a little bit, though, moving forward. But... Uh, for us here, we have a stream on Sunday. I think it'll be a tape delay stream for men's or women. I think women's soccer, if I'm not mistaken, Lance. Is women's soccer on Sunday? I think it's women's soccer. We're going to go off what Lance says. But tape delay women's soccer on 
on Sunday. Um, look forward to that coming onto the YouTube channel. Next Thursday, we will have Kevin Mackey and Kevin Mackey and Nate Mickey will be on the RMU Club Live uh, show at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so definitely stay tuned to that as well. And then Friday and Saturday, University of Buffalo comes to town to take on the Division I Colonials. So a lot happening over the next couple of days. And uh, we're excited to all bring it towards you. Make sure to stay tuned to the YouTube channel and to the Twitch channel as well. A lot of fun stuff coming, but for us here, Nathan Mauser, Lance Axton, myself, Caden McCrory, a great 6-4 to four win for the D3 Colonials to kick off their season. And we can't wait to see you back here next Friday for the Division I game against University of Buffalo. Enjoy the night, everybody, and we'll, we'll see you soon, all right? Have a great night, guys.